This is about the most punishment a human body can take as a set of 20 on deficit deadlift. I would say so. You should have a doctor's warning on these things. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. You didn't read your contract that we sent? Do not do this under any circumstances. You might be paralyzed. Yeah. Folks, I'm Dr. Mike for Renaissance Periodization. This is my 100% legitimately biological son, Jared Feather, Obviously, IFBB yeah. Pro. And uh, who's this, you may ask? I don't know. Well, it is a Mrs. Dana Lynn Bailey. Best three names, because the kind of people that have three names are people of greatness, and technically speaking, serial killers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that is true. So. I can see that. <laughs> I'm gonna go with greatness. Now, good news, good news. <laughs> Dana Lynn Bailey does not at all fit the profile of a serial killer. She doesn't live in an isolated ranch in Montana. Uh, the Unabomber is actually from where we're at. <laughs> Solid. This is adding up to be a real great video. But good news at Always Together because we are doing psychotic serial killer back. We're going to hit DLB's back with some deficit pulls. Then we're going to come back and get another victim, the flexion row. And then we're going to victimize pull-ups. It's just a disgusting, bloody Montana ranch of eviscerated animals. Sort of like the obese daily life. We're going to do that today to her back. Maybe sprinkle them down. P.S. Huge honor to be uh, in the gym with you. You invented women's physique. First uh, ever. Some say women's you're still the perfect physique. How old are you? Can you tell our viewers? 40. Is that possible? I you stop aging at some point. Yeah. We'll get the scientists well, we're to look into to that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. As best no. I can. You know what I'm saying, girl? It's just working pretty well. You feel me? But in any case, <laughs> politically incorrect things aside, Jared. Oh, I'm excited. It's going to be really fun. First ever women's physique. I don't know if how. When was that? 2015? 13, I want it. Yeah. 2013. So, all you young ass TikTok kids probably don't even know, but this your she's mommy. the OG. That's I'm the mommy. mommy. She's the OG I'm muscle, muscle mommy. mommy. Literally. <laughs> Let's, let's put some more muscle on. Oh, my on. children. Let's do it. <laughs> Folks, the first exercise we have for today is the deficit deadlift. Yes, it hits the glutes. Yes, it hits the hams. But it hits the whole f***ing back like crazy. Not a ton of lats, though it hits them a little bit as well. But it really hits the spinal erectors, rhomboids, the entire trapezius complex. Total wars declared on the back. We're probably going to do four sets of 15 to 20 reps of these things. This is not an exercise you go super heavy on if you want hypertrophy, but high reps for this with really good technique, which we'll brush you off on in a second, is really, really huge raw stimulus magnitude. It causes a lot of fatigue, but DLB has been around. She, I'm saying she's going to block that shit. She's going to duck the fatigue somehow. Gucci, let's do this, and then we'll talk about the next exercise. We Two requests. One is that you use good technique, which means flat back, slow control, gentle touches, full lockouts, that's it. And second request is try. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay, what did you say, 15, 20, what? Just start pulling. Okay. A lot. Okay. Yeah. Ah. We're only gonna count good technique reps, by the way. I got you. Whenever you're ready. Ten. Come on, Dana. Now it starts, Dana. Let's get our shit together. Move it. <laughs> yep, slow as if you're gonna do another one. And then gently look, place it down. Oh my That's god. <laughs> oh yeah. She still got it. <sighs> this is about the most punishment a human body can take as a set of 20 on deficit deadlift. I would say so. Yeah. That was awesome, Dana. Take about a minute to breathe, and then we'll be back into the shit. <gasps> 14. Nobody oh. said this would oh, yeah. be easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One. Soft touch. Come all the way back up, and then as if you're going to do another one. <gasps> all the way up. Finish. <gasps> Strong. Yes, lock it. Hell yeah, and then man. slow as if another. Ultra slow, super slow, mega slow, gentle. Oh my God, shit. Good. Oh, holy shit, I'm just glad I'm not you. Oh, that was man. as slow as it got. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, while DLB collects herself for another set, do you have to do deficit deadlifts for back growth? No, there's tons of other great exercises, but if you have a lot of fatigue tolerance, if fatigue isn't a proximately limiting factor for you, like it is currently for DLB, uh, then you have a lot of upside, a lot of fatigue you can expend chasing hypertrophy. And the raw stimulus magnitude, the total amount of muscle growth drive 
that the deficit deadlift for higher reps, sets of 15 to 20, can give you is insane. Especially if you use chalk and versa grips to get your grip out of the equation, wilderness will happen to your back. You'll get that thick Ronnie Dorian type of shit back there. Obviously not right away, but over time, it'll happen. This is a, an exercise that if you're really easy on your fatigue, you don't have a lot of margin, don't do it or do it last when you're weakest. But for DLB, we're starting first because she's female, she's well-trained, so you got plenty of fatigue upside. We're kicking that gains train right to her back, folks. Give that some thought. Let's do it. Good technique all the way through. Ugh. Gentle touches, slow eccentrics. <sighs> Nine, another one. You've done harder shit. Let's go. Eleven, as if another ultra slow. Let's put the fucking cherry on top here. Super slow, super slow, super yeah. gentle. Oh my god, amazing! All the Hell way yeah. through. Hell yeah, Dana. Hopefully we didn't break DLB. Deficits are done. Four sets. 20, 16, 14, 12. Try this at home. It's fucking nuts. Now it's time for flexion rows, barbell flexion rows. That means you start them with a big deficit and you're actually rounded over. And as you row, you arch your back to make it flat at least, touch your tummy and go back down. No holding at the top, just a brief touch. So you all might see this workout and think, this is a lot of heavy compound shit. And yeah, you might see me and Mike training, we do like a heavy compound row, maybe an assisted pull up, maybe a machine row. She's doing literally deadlifts, bent rows, also pull-ups, all these things are very, very heavy compound. So females, first and foremost, already biologically are a little bit more adapted for higher volumes to begin with. You're taking that into consideration as well as she's a smaller female, uh, not hyper muscular anymore. She's kind of downsized since her women's physique days. So when you take all that consideration, her total fatigue that she can accumulate with these exercises, because they're not super duper heavy, is much lower than someone like, say, me or Mike when you see us training. If me and Mike did this workout, yeah, we'd probably get rhabdo and just die after the session. But because of her metrics, she's she's female. Um, she's actually very well trained for this type of stuff because she's done CrossFit in the past. She's done super high volume bodybuilding training. She's gonna be okay to take this on. And she could probably do this for an extended period of time without getting into that overreaching state that me and Mike likely would if we did it for say, three weeks in a row. So take all that consideration for yourself and your metrics, how big you are, how advanced you are. If you're hyper muscular, maybe less heavy compounds in a session. If you're uh, less muscular or just beginning your journey, you most likely could do these har higher RSM. So we're all seeing those magnitude sessions and totally get away with it for a very, very long time. DLB, try to really get your chest up at the top, big arch back, yes. And that's it, rack, rest, that's it. That's what we want. So. Quick up, chest up, down slow, gentle touch, repeat. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're here for pain. Seven, let's get three more. Oh God. Go, 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 go. Eight, two more. Nine, slow, gentle, 10, and put it down real slow. Yes. Rap, that's it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Slow. Big chest at the top. Yes. Four. Slow. And that's it. Very good. Oh, shit. Oh, I we thought, got bonus round. I thought I was. Yeah, you did 11. I one more. You tricked yourself. I thought I had one. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it rocking. We keep it rocking. You gotta remember, <laughs> you're a 41 year old woman. I don't know, 41 yet. Half bad type 40 of shit, and a yeah. half. You gotta remember, she's a 41 year old woman. <laughs> she didn't tell us that. Come on, Grandma, let's go do more, more exercises. How old are you? 40, almost. <laughs> but I'm Jewish, so I'm like biologically 68. <laughs> yeah, we just, we start out old and age even faster. It's terrible. <laughs> Would you like a walker, Miss <laughs> Miss Lynn Bailey? <laughs> the technique here is similar to all the other. Full hang at the bottom for a second. Come all the way up, crunch your back at the top. Don't hold, just crunch, and then slowly descend. That slow descent is gonna make this way tougher, but more you effective. You do mostly like up and chest. Back. Up and okay. back, yep. Well, whenever you're ready, first work set. You got enough grip in your hands to make some sense out of shit? I think so. Let's start doing reps. 
Work set, activate. Slow. Just you, touch you gently at the top. The you don't have to wait at the top. Forceful. Right back down. Beautiful. Keep going. Nice and slow. 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 Good. So what's your favorite way to train? Favorite way? I mean, bodybuilding. But bodybuilding training? Yeah. Like something like this? I never do just one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever. Like, except if, if it's like squats or bench. You mean like you superset a lot of shit? Everything's supersetted. So I'll, I'll always do like, like if we're doing chest, it's like cable flies with a press or push-ups. I'm just constantly moving. I think it's more so because I can't narrow down all the things I want to do. So I'm like, I'll just do all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I'll do all of them. <laughs> These are perfect. Keep it going. <sighs> yep. Last one, Dan. Let's go. <gasps> one one back. Big, big chest at the top. Finish. Good. Oh. Yes. Good. Slow. Milk it. Yeah. Back. <gasps> big move. <sighs> Finish. Good. Slow. Control. And one last oh, one. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. <gasps> move it. Yeah, slow. Control. Unrack. Will I still be passing drug tests if I put these on my hands? Oh yeah. Isn't okay. there some wasn't there some recent controversy about the you being drug free and shit like that? Yeah, because no one believes me. I've been around the sport long enough and you don't really have any of the signs of energy use except for one. You're jacked. I am That's jacked. not sufficient to conclude that someone's on drugs. Now, this interview will look real embarrassing if you come out that you're on drugs later. DLB, I'll no. come to your Honestly, Montana house. Honestly, I'll take what's mine. That's the only. I, I put it out on a podcast with Bradley Martin, just calling out people like, Yeah, yeah. I'll put up whatever $50,000. You can come drug test me whenever you want. Sure. Because this is like, I haven't competed since 2015. Yeah. And I, I look better now than I even did back Dude, you then. Look, you look good. But people aren't realizing it's like I've been training six to seven days a week for the last 20 years. I've been doing that too, but I've been on a boatload of steroids the whole yeah. time. Not the whole time, half the time. Sometimes yeah. I forget to take them. Well, I honestly yeah. wake up every day and I don't know who I am, and it takes <laughs> it hours, sometimes days for me yeah. to figure that out. I just know that it what it does to the, the female body. It makes it less female. It makes it less female because you're putting male hormones into sure. a, a female body. I've so. put some male hormones in the female body before, girl, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dana, I'm going to tell you something I probably shouldn't. Okay. If I had the opportunity to hold something penis-shaped in my hand, I'd never, <laughs> ever say no. And so what we want you to do is to arc up here, hold for a split second at the high position, slowly come down so it's flush with your lats, Hold, and then slow. Good. Good. These are quality reps. Yeah. Up quick. Hold, slow. Yeah. And then one more. And then slow. Cool. Now do not leave the machine. Just sit there for a bit. Five more. Buckle in. Begin. Yeah. Four, begin. You're ready. One, Delts. perfect. All delts. Ah. <gasps> Nobody English, Dana. Don't swing into it. Just Use your delts. Ah. Finish, slow. And full rest. <gasps> Get out of the machine, oh, relax. Yeah. We'll do another set in a bit. Ah. Good stuff. <laughs> Rest, relax, six is your next goal. You know, for uh, for your age and body weight, <laughs> you really have I'm some not, promise in physique. Sure. There's this division called classic, uh, the female physique or whatever I think Yeah, it's women's physique. You should look into it. I will. 
Go bounce out of the bottom. Now up. Yeah. Three and you're done. Begin now. Ah. Now, 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 now. Down. That's one. Need three total. No bouncing. Right back up. Yes. Hold. Down. Slow. That's two. Ah. Hold. Resist. Resist. Ah. Resist. 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 Relax. <gasps> All right, Dana, come in. Come Stand on here really quick. One last little fun thing. One this, last this little super This fun is for thing. Sam. I'm sorry. Lift your hands completely outstretched fingers, completely locked at elbows. <laughs> to here, and then down, to here, and then up. Squeeze. And you just keep doing that. Are you? <laughs> keep going. Trust Squeeze. me, it'll get real fun here soon. Uh, why is the air so heavy right, here? Right, weird, right? Stick it uh, one second at the top, and then slow on the way down, and right up. There yes, you go. Yes, just like that. Try to point your pinkies into the sky. Good. Get those side delts really crunching. High elbows. This is a little crazy. Come on, keep going. This is exactly what uh -huh. we want. Why is that hurt? Good. Up. Keep going. Is it okay if I touch you? Yep. Good. Keep going. Uh... Resist a little bit. Not a ton. Uh... Up. Resist. Uh... Up. Elbows big into the sky. Yes. And down. Three more. Up and hold. One. Down, up and hold, two. Down, and last one, up and hold. High elbows, hold. high elbows. Don't let me push you down. 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 Relax. <gasps> All right, ready? This is the fun part. High five. <laughs> Did you snort? <laughs> Unbelievable. What an unrefined Montanian. Yeah. Folks, this has been Dana Lynn Bailey. She is now Dana Lynn Bailey, but probably more sore. A little, yeah. A little bit more sore, a little bit more tired. I'm actually glad that some of the blood from my back moved to Went to, to the my, delts, perfect. to the shoulders. What a good trade off. Now you still can't drive a car, <laughs> no. but for other reasons. <laughs> I sort of feel silly right now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah, silly. Yeah. Well, with big delts, you can feel however you want. It's other people's problem. Did I get bigger, guys? I Let hope us know so. in the comments. Uh, <gasps> damn. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, shit. Listen, uh, Dana, huge honor to be able Thank to you. train you for a little bit. Um, we've been looking up to you for quite some time. And incredible look, incredible longevity, incredible uh, ambassador for the sport, really. Appreciate that. Because I'm a terrible ambassador for the sport. <laughs> And so I just, people to look up to, I'll never be as good as oh, them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're like, yeah. uh, yeah, although the that guy. Weird Go with her. convictions and court cases with me. It's just a laundry list. Uh, you were awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate and, it. Uh, Thank folks, you. Uh, you know who DLB is already. We don't have to tell you, but go check her stuff out. And uh, Jared and I have an OnlyFans, so don't worry about DLB. Go buy our shit. What? <laughs> anyway, see you guys next time. <laughs>